Hi friends and fellow earth angels, it's Gladys here for your weekly reading for August 5th through the 11th, 2018. And just to recap, I just put out my monthly vlog and did a reading for the month and came with the Archangel Shamuel, the card Daydream, and become still so that you may hear God. And the insight into the monthly reading is to really take some time to go within, to be still. Um, Shamuel's helping he you here with uh, soulmate relationships. There's a lot of changes with soul families, soul groups, uh, twin flame and true love energies. And so I think there's going to be some big changes this month. We have the uh, last lunar eclipse in the new moon coming up. Uh, um, at the end of the week, we also have the August 8th Lion's Gate energy open um, up. So this is going to be a powerful, a powerful week. So it makes sense where God and the angels are asking us to just become still, to go within, to hear their guidance and insight. This daydream energy and being still, that's where all your divine guidance comes from. It's like we're more challenged when we're running around with have tos and shoulds. So it seems like for this month, they're really encouraging you to be still, rest, recharge, regroup so you can hear God's messages. So let's take an extension on this reading and find what we're, what we're in for for this week. So I'm going to pull an angel for the week and I am going to start by calling on all our guardian angels and guides, the archangels, the ascended masters, and any other beings of light that want to assist with these readings and these messages for us this, this week. Um, and I ask that it be for our best and highest good and the best and highest good of all concerned. So here we go. So the Archangel for the week is... Oh, of course. Archangel Shamuel. I'm telling you, you cannot make this stuff up. So Archangel Shamuel, his message is here. Your life purpose is triggered by a blessed career change. In my August monthly vlog, I talked about how so many of us are at a crossroads and at a crossroads meaning like so much ended for us in July and there's so many new beginnings to come. And Archangel Shamuel, he's the angel of peace. He comes into our life when we're at a crossroads and um, he's such a beautiful energy to work with. So it is clear that Archangel Shamuel is powerful this week and this month, especially with the peace energy. Um, Archangel Shamuel's color that I resonate with is mint green. Um, he tends to send me Andy's mint chocolates or anything mint green. I had a friend who I shared Archangel Shamuel with and that week she started to see mint green cards, uh, I mean cars. So he's super powerful. He also sends mourning doves, the cooing, which, which I resonate with the Holy Spirit energy. So we cannot deny that Archangel Shamuel wants to show up and in this deck the two cards that we have here beloved one and career transition my goodness so I want to use my um, angel therapy oracle cards here and see what the angels feel may be a challenge for us this week a challenge that can give us some insight to be able to support us and comfort us throughout the week so Paul Archangel Raphael and healing. Oh my goodness, these messages are so beautiful. The angels are working with us so powerfully to shine their beautiful, gentle light. Raphael is another beautiful energy. He says the healing angel is with you, supporting your healing work. So maybe this week we're gonna have to dig deep. Maybe there's going to be some, some, some more um, shifting going on. And Archangel Raphael is showing up in this, this reading this week to ask you to call on him. Remember, the angels abide by the law of free will, so they can't intervene or they don't intervene unless we're asking. So I am going to ask them to open up space, open up your hearts and your minds so that you're receiving these loving healing messages. So again, if it's a challenging week, week for you, if you're still going through transitions and changes, remember to call on the Archangel Raphael. Look at, he's got this beautiful energy coming from his hands. So I resonate 
resonate with Archangel Raphael with the color emerald green. So talk about mint green and emerald green, such beautiful colors. So wrap yourself in your in that color this week. If you have uh, green blankets or you have green t-shirts or you have green outfits or whatever, surround yourself in it. It's a way for you to bring them into um, into your vibration. So, so again, when you're challenged this week, remember to call on the Archangel Raphael for healing. And then I'm going to call, um, I'm going to use the um, Cherub Angel cards for children. This is going to be a message for your inner child. So many of us are, 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 are needing to laugh and play and sing and dance. So this is going to be a message from your inner child. What does your inner child need you to know? <laughs> Angel lights. How beautiful. My goodness, the angels want to connect with you. The angels are shining their lights of love and protection. They're being a beacon of light for you to open up paths for you. These cards for me show me positive, powerful changes coming for us. And it comes in the, in the, in the energy of like gentleness, um, love, compassion, kindness with yourself. Uh, one of the big messages that I've been getting with clients lately is to go easy on yourself. Be gentle. We tend to, tend to have a tendency to really kind of force things from happening. Um, our impatience um, can be a challenge. So here, these angels are coming in in such beautiful, gentle energy to, to remind you to call on them for assistance. God sends his armies of angels to be with you. So I want to finish with a um, message. These, these cards, love and light, I feel like are, are God's messages to us. So what, these are uh, fairly new. So I'm going to ask God, what message does he have for us this week? What does he want us to know? What is the most important thing that we need to hear right now? Cooperation, cooperation and partnership bring great rewards. Two people are better off than one for they can help each other succeed. God, how beautiful. This card for me feels like he's telling us that we don't have to do it alone. So many of us have the tendency to, to go into things and feel lonely and isolated and try to do things on our own. And I feel like this card is coming in for those who struggle with support. Call on God and his angels to send people into your life that can comfort you, support you, teach you, inspire you to live your best life. And again, um, we pulled the um the archangel shamuel beloved card with the soulmate relationship for the month um if you're being challenged in your relationship right now if if you know you've you haven't been connecting with your twin flame or you guys are separate right now shamuel comes in um as well as as as, as god to show you invite them into these relationships ask for their support so that you know the right action to take um for the divine feminine energy i know right now is is a great time to to, uh, just really work on yourself. That divine masculine energy is going through big transformations right now. Hence the Archangel Raphael showing up this week. Send Archangel Raphael to, to your lovers, to your soulmates, to your twin flame. Maybe you've met or you haven't met yet. There are big shifts happening. I really believe this nine-year cycle that we're in that started in 2017 and is going to about 2025. I really feel like this is the nine year cycle of integrating the energy of true love back on the planet so so many people are connecting with their soulmates and going through this really deep inner work and remember we really have to know the essence of our self before we can open up to do the work in love to with our, our twin flames and soulmate energy so again if you're on a pause or there's stuff happening and you know maybe your divine masculine is being challenged i know a lot of the divine masculine energy right now is is really struggling with work that brings them joy that they're, they're that provider energy and you know they see the divine feminine that are really like walking in the light and starting careers and 
really living in this passion. We're taking our power back. And this this isn't a male-female thing. It's how you identify. If you identify with masculine energy, you define, resonate with more feminine energy, what, whatever is right for you. I feel like these messages here are coming in to, to show you that you're not alone, that the universe is working with you. If it's a career challenge, you know, I have to say, you know, I left a corporate job almost uh, le over 11, 12 years ago um, now, and I understand how extremely difficult it can be from leave from, for leaving um, a toxic environment. Um, I know we, we, we worry about, we got kids and mouths to feed and, and um, bills to pay and leaving a relation, uh, a bad, a bad job, a job that just doesn't resonate with our vibration anymore can re be really, really a challenge. So, you know, my clients that I'm seeing, they are walking away from, from, from jobs and experiences that aren't matching their vibration anymore. It was really the energy of July that carried all this energy in. And again, the universe is saying that they don't want you to feel like you have to do it alone. God's light and energy and the angels are so powerful, my friends. I can't even tell you how much um, they are eager and willing and ready to work with you. All you have to do is ask. Remember, two people are better off, uh, two people are better off than one for they can help each other succeed. So maybe we're gonna see more partnerships. Maybe we're gonna see more people working together and, and creating these senses, sense of community. So this looks like a beautiful week to come and I thank you for listening and I will be back next week. And if the angels are showing up for you in any way, if you have any angel stories or insight that can help us, support us, comfort us, make us laugh, please share in the comments below. And if you'd like a private reading, if this is something that's really resonated with you and you'd like more information that's specific to you and your energy, I offer divine guidance sessions, life purpose sessions. If you're looking to, maybe you've lost a, a loved one um, uh, or have had a, a, a loved one transition, I offer incredibly powerful mediumship sessions. You can find all of that on my website at gladysellen.com. It's super easy to book. You can book right on, online and pick your date and your time. And I look forward to connecting with you. I send you love with heavenly hugs. Bye, friends.